Knock, knock. We're live. Who's there? Who? We are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello. Hello, everyone. I feel like a real person today. I like how mascara on my eyes. I have earrings on. I'm in like nice Church clothes. churchy clothes. I know. I feel like a real person today. What's up, guys? Hi, Joanna. Hi, hello, Amy. Hello. We are so glad you guys are here. My eyes are kind of beautiful. The wind is yes, the they wind. Are. The window the is bright. The wind's getting them. No, we're sitting in front of a bright window, and so it's like I can't really look that way. Well, Hi, guys. Look at the window. Kylie, Josh, James. What's up, everyone? It's lunch time for you, James. It's pretty much lunch time. Who'd for we us miss? Too. Katie, Veronica, Lindsay. How are you all doing? We're so glad you guys are here. We Hi, Anne. Hello. Happy Sunday, everyone. We have been chilling. Have, have been hanging out <laughs> as a family. It's Sunday, so normally our family goes to church on Sunday. But obviously, with the current global situation and pandemic, we're not attending church. No one is attending church right now. Um, but we had general conference. and One of my favorite days of the year, honestly. It's a great There's weekend. It's a great weekend. A, because general conference, but B, because of Swedish pancakes. Family tradition, guys. We made Whoop. Swedish pancakes this morning. Well, I made Swedish pancakes this and morning. And they were delicious. Thank you. They mm. take a long time. They're Thank essentially you. crepes. I think the most of the world knows them as crepes. So just very But good. they're way better than crepes. <laughs> um, but they take a long time, especially because we only have one crepe pan. So you obviously make them one at a time. But it's like an art almost like it's like tricky yep. to make them yeah it's not like making pancakes where you, you just plop put it four flip on it. there <laughs> flip them whenever yeah it's an art for it, sure it takes a while so um you're doing okay today yay i know conference weekend is always the best but we just decided to put on some real clothes today make ourselves feel a little bit better because honestly it like changes my whole mood if i just at least like even if I just wash my face, brush my teeth, and put a fresh outfit on, I'm like, let's go. Whoop, whoop. Let's go. Let's go. Any afternoon snacks for the conference? I don't know. I feel We've like... We've been eating Easter Whoppers. <laughs> Robin eggs. Yes. Robin eggs is what we've been eating. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't really know. I had, like, all these snacks and yummy food yesterday, and I feel like I kind of got, like burned out on cooking and eating so today i'm like Meh. <laughs> i don't know <laughs> yeah i don't know we'll have to see what we can find what are you guys eating this yes. weekend we'd love to know okay it's eight in 8 p.m tunisia 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 that's cool it is one o'clock here yep it's one in the afternoon amy you're making cinnamon rolls mm -hmm. my mom and shelby are making the cinnamon rolls today and i wish so badly that i could be there with them while they were making them but yep you know having youtube app notifications turned on gets you a notification oh yeah subscriptions. yep turn on that notification button heck yeah so we can see when we're uploading since we're kind of random people sometimes well we usually try to go live at two but conference starts at two so we had to go live before the next session of conference kylie you've been eating sour gummy worms cody would be right there with you and mm. all kids i'm all about the gummy anything the sour fruity candy is like cody it's not even like sour just like just fruity Fruity and gummy. I love gummy mm -hmm. things like licorice. Licorice is one of my faves. You love licorice. Especially like the orange stuffed Ew. licorice. If you've ever tried that, <laughs> let me know. It's like, hey guys, it's hard to come by. True story. I was at the grocery store with Shelby and my mom. Like this was a long time ago, probably last year. And we walked past like a licorice display and I'm like, who would buy that? It was like orange this guy. cream licorice filled like the center filled it's basically a creamsicle no i was like who would buy form. that the next day my husband came home with like three packages of it and i'm like the one you married that's who would buy <laughs> how you feel about that babe i love you that's i don't we just have very different tastes <laughs> in most things actually which is kind of funny Not but really though yeah yeah I mean, but i would i go for more of like the like rich indulgent candy like chocolate caramel it's not like Those I don't like that things. stuff. It's just I like other stuff, too. She doesn't. No, I just mean, like, <laughs> our first choice. Our first choices are always very different. Yeah. You know? But that's okay, guys. It's all good. Um, Differences make us unique. They do. And awesome. They're so fun. How is everyone, though? Everyone keeping their spirits up? 
your daughter came up in the middle. Ooh, I was that... I gave her some chocolate sweets. Heck That's yeah. That's so awesome. I can't wait till our kids get old enough to bring us some treats. I know, right? Now they're just stealing all of our treats. <laughs> <laughs> um yay okay i'm so glad you guys are doing well we do have a couple subscribers that i don't know could use our thoughts and prayers right now one of our she's probably like one of our most loyal subscribers bonnie, bonnie. we love her so much you guys she always leaves like the most long heartfelt comments and when she can't comment on youtube she always sends me like a dm on instagram of the video each day and she's actually in the hospital right now with the virus. And so just yeah. keep her in your prayers. And I know so many people are affected by it right now. So I don't know. I just really want to think about everyone who's suffering yeah. and just pray for them and send our love to them. So if any of you or your families are, we love you guys. And just Definitely. stay safe and stay healthy. Yep. So with that, today we are talking about fears, anxieties, and stress. Stress. How you deal with them. Because I know a lot of us are feeling those emotions right now, right? Oh, yeah. The world like, is in a very <laughs> uncertain place. <laughs> We're cooped up inside. We aren't interacting with people we normally interact with face-to-face. -face. All of our kids are home from school, which can raise the level of stress because it's a lot. It's a lot of energy and noise at all times. Yeah. Um, there's just many feelings, like the feelings of uncertainty and fear of your family getting sick, so many things. So Cody and I wanted to talk about how we combat those feelings. How do we keep our spirits high? How do we stay positive? You know? Yeah. First off, how do you guys do it? Cause we like to hear from you guys. <laughs> Why not? And maybe while you talk about yours. Okay. You, you just want me to go? Go for it. Hang on. What you've been doing to keep upbeat is thinking about your bucket list. That is great. That kind of goes along with what Cody does. Yeah. That's an awesome thing to do. Watch Disney Plus and don't think. Yes, the kids are watching Disney Plus right now. That. Keep happy thoughts in your head. Mm -hmm. Keep, keep. I don't know, uplifting media coming at you, right? So things that are happy and joyful, videos you watch, things you read. We've been watch watching a lot of our old videos We've recently, been like just more than you ever have i yeah. think it's we can get on a rabbit hole so easy it's just like oh let's watch this one and that one and that one well and it's so fun because almost every video we watch we're like oh my heck i forgot that happened and i'm just so grateful to have it documented in video form yeah let's see what else baking, baking kai yes nice. yes 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 love that Amen. that's awesome um seeing the community to help us out bringing meals sewing masks etc that's awesome it's definitely seen, been awesome seeing how Everyone's coming The world together. is coming together just I know. all to combat this dang virus. I know. It's actually been pretty cool. It's been it's been good for me to see all the good that's <laughs> out there, you know, because sometimes I feel like we just see a lot of the bad. Yeah. Uh, Josh, that's one of my favorite ones. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have a fear that your family is going to get sick. I keep in contact telling them you love them. Very good. Family that's is going to help a ton. Yeah, and really, like... Take this time right now to reach out to those people you may not talk to very often and just tell them how much they mean to you and, I don't know, maybe share favorite memories you have with that person. Definitely. Lunchtime got to go by. Hi, See James. you, James. <laughs> Are you watching old, your birthday vlog, D? That was so fun. That was fun. Uh, watching Netflix and talking or taking my dog on, on walks. walks. That's a good way walks to get out. Walks and fresh air, definitely. Fresh air helps a lot. Definitely. People here are putting up paper hearts in their front windows to support healthcare people. That's awesome. It's a good way to support, show your love. That is. That's so great. Huda, you love watching us. Thank, Thank you. you. We love you guys so much. <laughs> Every single one of you. <laughs> no, we love you guys so much. Um, but I'm just going to jump in. You didn't read. Oh, we didn't yes, read we did. yours. Huda? Did we miss it? Sorry. Oh, use you your use your phone to do and do, do homework. homework. Yes, anything you can to keep kind of your mind busy. What's up, Steven Shell? Steven Shell, we love whoop, you guys. Whoop. Okay, so we're just going to jump into it and talk about the main thing I do, making the home cinnamon rolls right now. Good luck. Jealous. Let us come take some. <laughs> <laughs> um, Steve and Shelby are actually currently staying with my parents since they got home from there awesome adventure so i'm so jealous because they're all together up at my parents house and i wish <laughs> yeah. we could be there so bad but um shelp let us know how they turn out because i'm anxious to know 
But... Amy's making the cinnamon rolls, too. I know. She told us at the beginning. <laughs> That's so yummy. Okay, so what I do, like, the main thing I do if I'm feeling stress or anxiety or fear, and I want you guys to know, those are feelings I feel a lot. Not necessarily fear, but, like, stress and anxiety. I, like, battle with those feelings often, and sometimes, like, my anxiety can get out of control if I let it. So... The main thing that I always do if I'm feeling that way is instantly start thinking gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. So I'm like, what can I be grateful for right now? You know? So if I'm feeling like this fear of like, oh my gosh, what if this happens? I instantly stop. I look around. I see my kids or my husband or something. And I think, what can I be grateful for right now? And I start focusing on little things. Kinley and Canyon laughing together, making each other laugh. Because when you are feeling gratitude, when you're feeling, I am so lucky and so blessed to have this moment, to have this specific thing in my life, you can't feel feel anxiety or stress. Like you can't. Push you, it can't out. you can't feel those negative feelings while you're feeling this incredible positive feeling. So that's my main tip. Is just, If you are feeling those things, instantly try to think what you have to be grateful for. Have an attitude of gratitude. Yeah. And I know that's kind of cheesy and cliche, but I promise it works. Every single time. Every single time. Yeah. That is a great way. I mean, always being grateful is good, but it definitely helps mm -hmm. with anxieties and anything, really. Yeah. So, what I do, well, first off, I don't talk about when I get anxiety and, you know, kind of going back to the root of the issue, like what causes, causes my anxiety or fears. And for me, it's always an uncertainty of like the future like mm -hmm. things that i don't know what's going to happen maybe i maybe i lost my job which happened mm -hmm. maybe you know there's things that happen in your life that you just you can't control what's happening or you don't know or you what's don't going know to what's going to happen mm -hmm. and just knowing can be comforting but there's a lot of times when you don't you you don't know what's mm -hmm. going to happen and so for me something that always helps me is looking for things that i can control like Yes, I lost my job, but I control going to look for a job. I can control what I do to overcome whatever obstacle it was and having faith that everything will be okay. Like looking past the little obstacle that's in front of you and seeing your end goal. Because mm -hmm. that's ultimately what you're shooting for and of like the near future and look for the distance future. It's... It's easy to just look past it and see what's really important. Yeah. And talking about making this video, you said you like to focus on what you can control right now. Yeah. You know, like right now I can control getting up, making my bed, getting dressed. And putting some pants on if you have to. Finding something <laughs> I could work on right now. You know, instead of sitting here and feeling down and scared and nervous, I can work right now. I can control my situation right now. So that's something that he's really good at, and he does. I notice you do it every time you're feeling a little bit stressed out. What do I do? <laughs> it's just, just you just are like, okay, what can I do? I gotta do this. I right try now. to stay busy and things that I can do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who? Do, you're fine. Don't apologize at all. You're totally fine. Um, but also I keep seeing a comment here about faith, and obviously we know that the world is full of so many different faiths, and everyone has different beliefs. And it's beautiful because it's what makes all of us us and unique, right? Um, but for Cody and I and our faith, our faith is a big part of our life. And, uh, would, you know, I just cling to the thought that faith and fear cannot coexist. You know, if yeah. you have faith and you have hope that everything's going to be okay, you can't be fearful because you have faith that it's going to get better. So, yep. I don't know, if you are a person of faith or... Anything like that, just cling to that faith because that will definitely help those negative feelings and emotions you can feel as well. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, you watched a video on the news of a photographer who took pictures of people in isolation looking outside their homes as a photo shoot for makeshift work. Maybe I could do that. That's a good idea. A we've, lot of people have been doing a lot of people port doing shoots. And I don't know. There's, it kind of goes both ways. Yeah. Isolating, you don't want to get contact with people and yes with photography you can stay back a little bit but i don't know you're still getting out and doing a lot of things so yeah it's still one of those it's, it's things, one of those that's things that's kind of controversial like you can see how you could keep it safe but then 
there's a lot of people who aren't very okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> We're just trying to do our best to isolate ourselves and our family for the sake of everyone, you know? So yeah. it's kind of hard to know what you can and can't do because some things that I thought were perfectly okay for us to do, I've gotten messages and comments like, you should not have done that. And I was like, oh my gosh, I thought that it was safe and it was okay. So I think we're all just trying to learn and figure out our new normal right now and mm-hmm. what is appropriate and what isn't. But yeah. I, I've seen some of those photo shoots and they're, they're pretty cool. Like it's fun to see the families on their front porch. Yep. Uh, Joss, just wait, there'll be time to do all of that. <laughs> yeah, and I've kind of been thinking about it, like, one day we're going to get call, the call that, oh, we can go back to work, and it's going to be, like, I'm almost going to be sad, like, oh, I don't get to stay home with my family anymore. <laughs> no, we really have, I feel like we've done a really good job on focusing on the positives, because Cody and I will just be like, this is kind of awesome, like, we're we're having so much more quality conversations with our kids, We're having more quality conversations between the two of us. You know what I mean? So we're trying to focus on the good that's coming out of this, but still staying aware of all the bad. We're not just like overlooking, like this is an awesome time, (laughs) like because we know it's not. And we know that there are people who are in really bad situations right now. So we're aware of them. But for our own sanity and mental health, we are trying to focus on the positives. Definitely. You know? And like going back to like having faith, like faith isn't, a perfect knowledge that how everything's going to work out, but it's just believing that it will and that it'll be okay. It's in someone else's hand. Mm -hmm. And as long as we're doing all that we can, then we're going to be okay. I saw someone post on Instagram, you know, that faith isn't what if that's fear. What if faith is, I will be okay. If you know, definitely. So like this might happen, but we're going to be okay. So we just wanted to tell you guys, if you're feeling any of these feelings, try to, some of our tips, focus on the things you have to be grateful for. Look for the positives. You know, maybe you're getting to spend, no, try to find something that you can do to help too. Even if it is just hanging paper hearts in your window to support our healthcare workers, like AB just said, find something you can do to love and support and serve others because that also makes all the difference in how you feel. Yeah, definitely. Serving others is one way to make you feel the best even though you're not doing for yourself Mm -hmm. i found that when i start focusing on myself and my happiness that i'm probably happy just because you're so focused on you like 100 percent. so serving others helping others is a huge way to be happy yeah we just want you guys to know how much we love you and we are going to try to keep just bringing you happiness and positivity because I don't know. We just love you guys so much and we want you all to be happy. And if there was some way that we could like come into all of your homes and give you a giant hug, we would, I promise we would, but because we can't, we just want to bring you guys a smile even, you know? So yeah. We West side say, future. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, you so we much. You. Thank you. And I love the comment Desi just said, we're all going to come out stronger. And I hundred percent believe that. I think we're going to appreciate things a lot more that we took for granted. Little things like if you see a friend at the grocery store and you give them a big hug. I have missed that so much, you guys. I'm a touchy person. I'm a hugger. I like you can touch I like my contact. <laughs> and so just when I have seen someone, like the two times I have been to the grocery store, it feels so odd to me, like keeping our distance and like talking far apart from each other. So just little things like that, I think we will appreciate so much more once this is over. Definitely. And something you know. that we've seen on social media a few times about like once this all is in or like is over, what do you want to go back to normal? Well, like, you control you, what you pick back up. Yeah, so you like know? you don't have to go back to normal if you don't feel like that's what's bringing you happiness. Yeah. Well, if you feel like your life was just too chaotic and consumed with things that don't really matter, I'm talking to us. <laughs> um, and maybe you choose not to pick up everything you were doing before. You know. Mm -hmm. Try to keep things slow so that you can focus on what's most important. And us, that's our family and our faith. So, I don't know, you guys. So many thoughts. (laughs) Shelby says she used to dread going to the grocery store, but now she misses it. I know. (laughs) Mind shifts. Total mind shifts. Just stepping in to say hi. Josh, Jen, we love you. We love you. Hello. What's up, everyone? Um, Let's see. 
Amy, you're welcome. Something small we can do. Definitely hanging signs in the windows. Oh, Amy, we, we have, have you guys, up. Heather, Amy, we have so many people here, a part of our YouTube family that are healthcare workers. So we, we love you guys. Stay safe, <laughs> but you're just incredible for everything you're doing right now. Westside Future, you've been on the front lines from the start. Dude, we love you. Yeah, stay Dude, safe. Dave, I think. <laughs> yeah, you're awesome. Um, Kinley is watching our YouTube videos actually right now. <laughs> She's so cute. Her new favorite saying like this past week is, I want to watch our video, which <laughs> yeah. she's like never said before. So we're like, okay. So we just will pull up one of our old vlogs and she's like happy as can be. Yep. I think the others are watching YouTube or not YouTube, Disney plus. Yeah. But guys, we love you. Stay safe. So much. And please, if, if you guys are struggling, message me on Instagram or Facebook or somewhere because I would love to talk to you and we just love you guys. We hope that you have an awesome Sunday and an awesome week, and stay safe and healthy. Yeah, we love you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> the awkward